Welcome. We are now live for the OTC's first Pegasus webcast for Pegasus and PC scan training for on-site. So we can start the first moment right now. Um, you'll notice that in your kit is an on-site training certificate. When you open up your kit and pull the certificate out, you'll notice there's a phone number or a fax number that you can fax that to and or a website where you can go enter all your registration information. When you do that, please hold on to that certificate or coupon. That coupon will then be used by your trainer when he does arrive to check off each item that he trains you on. He will then turn that in to go ahead and complete that. The Pegasus comes in two components, the tablet, which we'll look at separately, and then what's also known as the actual VCI. The VCI and the tablet physically are one piece when they are docked. I can remove the tablet by simply pushing in on the two buttons on the side of VCI and pulling it off. That will allow us to go wireless to the vehicle and physically talk to the tablet. Let's go ahead and advance the slide a little bit more, and we're going to go ahead and talk about each component. If we're looking at the tablet, when you look at your tablet, you will notice that I've got two speed controls. This speed control on the right will control everything within this tab that we'll look at later. And then you'll notice there's a speed control to the left that will control everything in the main window. Two enter buttons, and a menu button, and an exit button. At the very bottom is a button that will allow us to adjust the contrast, and then over to the far right is a button that allows us to adjust the volume. This is our on-off button. You can turn it on or off anywhere you want to. There are three lights. This one over to the closest by the contrast button is the battery light. When it is flashing green, it is charging. When it is green, it is fully charged. When it is yellow, it is cautionary that it's going to probably run out of battery power. When it's red, you've got approximately 10 minutes. That, with that in mind, on the bottom of the tool is our lithium-ion battery. You have an optional hot swap battery kit that you can get that will allow you to have two and a half hours additional time. It takes approximately one hour to bring it to 80% of charge and approximately two and a half hours to bring it to full charge. The battery should run you approximately two and a half hours. The light over towards the um, uh, volume adjust physically here is telling us that we are working with our hard drive. And over here, the light that looks like an engine is actually the light that shows us we are communicating with our vehicle. There are physically two speakers, one on the left and one on the right. At the top of the tool, if you'll advance our PowerPoint to the next slide, you'll notice that we've got four USB ports, two and two. And then, of course, my Ethernet port right here. Also, if you look at it, we've got um, the two-channel lab scope. Channel one is the inboard channel, yellow in color. Channel two is the outboard channel, green in color. That is a 40 million sample per channel lab scope. We're going to look at the lab scope a little bit later and how to use it as well in the automated system form. Also, you'll notice that I've got a VGA port out, and I've got an SDIO card, which is my Wi-Fi card, right here at the very top. That SDIO card will allow us to communicate to the Internet wirelessly, 802.11G, or it will allow us to communicate to our VCI with the wireless SDIO card at the top here as well. Advance the slide forward for me, please. All right. At this point, if you don't mind, we're going to go ahead. We've already talked about the lithium-ion lithium, lithium ion battery. But now we're going to register our tool. So if we can look at the one over here to our right, when you get your tool, it will come up automatically with the screen saying either register the tool or go to demo. When I press enter registration information, it will now physically go ahead and ask if I want to accept or decline our format. So if you could zoom in slightly. We're going to go ahead and I accept, and now it's going to ask us to put in our personal information. I'm going to quickly just type in a couple names. For example, I'm going to tap on the first name. I'm using my finger because this is touch screen, and I'm going to now use the keyboard. And I'll type in the letter Z, and then I'll go to last name, letter Z also, the company I work for, SPX, and then, of course, the address. Now, once all these lines are filled out, then I can go ahead and continue. And, of course, I should put in my email address. It's very important that you put your email address in there because that's how we will communicate with you to let you know when an update's available for your tool. So at the moment, I'm just going to qu quickly fill in the address and everything that I need and move on. You notice I'm only using one letter, but you should fill out everything complete. I'm just trying to make it time conservative for 
what I need to do to this afternoon, because remember, I only have one hour. We're going to try to show you approximately an hour and a half's worth of material. And now I'm going to hit the continue button. And of course, I should be connected to the internet, which I'm doing right now. I'm going to hit the continue button, and uh, it says invalid phone number. I got to put a phone number, and I apologize, Sean. And now I'm going to press the continue button. Now I got to put in my email address. I and there we go. Now I'm going to verify that my address is correct. If everything I put in there is actually what I need, and it is correct, I'll push continue. And registration is now complete. And of course it says thank you. All right. Now, if you don't mind, we're going to go ahead and start doing a few other things with the tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you mine. We're going to plug mine in at this point because we're going to hook up to the vehicle and start doing some testing. So give me just one moment so I can plug it back in. And In about one second, we're going to switch over from one video to the next. Now you'll notice at the top of your tool, over by the blue Wi-Fi port right here, at the very top, is a VGA out. So anyone who would like to physically go ahead and hook up a large TV in their waiting room to show their customers the fall codes, just like we're doing in the back right now, you'll notice when we switch from the tool the picture of me and the tool to the picture that you see now on the screen, we're looking at a large TV in our back room with a camera. You can do that as well to physically show fault codes to your customers and help describe a repair that may be possible or necessary. So I'm switching from one to the next, and in a few moments it'll be up and live and ready to go. You ready to begin? We're going to look at a few more screens so you have a little bit better feel. If you don't mind, advance the PowerPoint for me in a couple slides. And now let's go ahead and look at our cable kit. If you take our cable kit that came in your actual device, in your actual package, you'll notice that you'll have an actual cable kit that will have one individual slot for each cable. And if you look at your cables, you'll notice they'll be labeled Toyota and the part number. So as you need a cable, you'll physically go ahead and pull up the cable you need, green being for Asian, blue being for domestic, and red being for European. What's really interesting about those cables, once again, is they're labeled both by part number and by the name of the cable. That cable, the OBD-1 cable, will physically hook up to the OBD-2 cable, and that's how you'll do your vehicle testing. Now, this is slide once more, please, and we're going to look at that PowerPoint. If you look at your PowerPoint, this is what's in your kit. So if we could show that slide, please. You'll see the slide says Pegasus 3825 J kit. What's included in that J kit, of course, is the domestic blue cable for OBD-1, the Asian OBD-1 cables in green, and you'll also notice that you'll have at the bottom of the Pegasus kit, the main box, when you lift up the main box, you'll find your lab scope leads, your OBD-2 cable, and your power supply. In there is also two CD-ROMs. One CD-ROM is getting started CD-ROM and how to physically set up your tool, and the other one will be the J2534 reflash videos. Later on, we'll show you the website where you can go also look at those reflash videos for those of you who didn't get that CD-ROM. There's also the um, 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 actual getting started guide as well, and you'll notice that you'll see over to the far right a copy of that certificate that you're going to physically call to get on-site training for those who bought the 3825J kit contents. 